Sarah's live rate predictions? I think between 20 and like 35. And I Doug? think between 15 and 20. And Mum thinks 27.5. And what does Luca think? Oh, um, mean of 23 and a half kilograms. It's got to be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Billy? Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'll just say 40 because I would like them all to be 40. No, no. I mean, maybe <laughs> between 20, f 20 and 25, maybe? Okay, yeah. I mean, I've got the biggest range, but I just think there is quite a big range within the twins. See. There's some that are tiny that'll be about 10, and there's some that'll be about, like, 30. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. It's an absolute scorcher today. It's going to be, say, mid-20s. Really? Nah, I don't know. It'll be, it's going to be quite warm today. It's going to be above 20 anyway. And we are going through another lot of sheep to take the lambs off and sell them. So we're going through the triplets today, which is crazy because I saw the Xiao yesterday with three absolute toppers. And I mean, she looked in fine condition as well. She'll probably have a single next year, but I'm so impressed with her. So yeah, we'll see how they're looking. Triplets and ones that have had a wee bit of a problem. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll see how they are today. Yeah, and also we have a uh, a wee combi clamp today that we are borrowing from our neighbour, who very kindly has given it to us for for these next two days, and we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, basically, the same as the crush, except you can do the yeah and the lamb kind of one at a time. Um, yeah, just see see how it works out. Yeah, because there's an inner farm argument going on. Doug thinks that they, Doug thinks that we should be dozing them. Um, for weighing like 15 kilograms and I think oh, we should yeah, be yeah. dosing them for weighing more than that like 30 or something. So that's why, kind of why we've got the weigh, sc weigh scales in to see who's right. Yeah or at least like 25 or something. I think they're just definitely over 15 kilograms by now. Like Poe weighs 15 kilograms and she's so much easier to pick up than a lamb. Yeah 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 that's true so, that's true. Yeah. Not as a wriggly either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's us we'll crack on but yeah Pretty much the same as the last lambing video, um, but outside this time, it's a nice, bright, sunny weather. It's meant to be raining tomorrow, though, but also selling of the lambs at the end of this video, and we'll try and get some more footage of that in the mart. Okay. Cool. Enjoy. Bye. Oh, I'm meant to be on the road. I don't know how this is going to work, but anyway. Hopefully, they just run straight across. That's my sheep dog. Well done, Tobes. Well done. <laughs> Tobes here. Good boy. Good boy. Clever boy. Clever boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, yes. That's them in. See how we get on with this combi clamp. So yeah, it's quite sophisticated. We've got the combi necks for the mucky back ends. We've got the click if they've got a bit of maggots. Iodine if they've got any open cuts. Red spray for rigs and whatnot. Green for yellow lambs. Orange, what's the orange for at the moment, Rose? And um, that is for fat lambs. Fat lambs. And yeah, and then we're gonna have the whale scales, the whale, the weight scales. Mm -hmm. I say, I say fat lambs, but just ones that I'm putting away at the next sale, so they'll we'll, we'll be going to store. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna nice. have like a weight limit. I was just like oh, guesstimating. Yes. There's a lot going on. Yeah, so it's just zero when we're standing on it. See, 55. 55. I've been 55 kilos Luca, all my life. Luca, you want to weigh yourself? Yeah, go on. Go on. Oh, Whoops, sorry. 57. Oh, what was 57? Damn, I've lost 40. weight. What, what am I? 86. Woohoo! That's why I'm on here, then, <laughs> to catch... 
Uh, right, Rose, you want to jump on with me and we just zero it. Fine, boy or girl, ready? Sorry, sorry. Uh, boy. Boy, so left lug, and then he'll be an orange mark because I think our goal weight should be over 35. Shall we say that? Over 35? Okay, get mine. So everything over 35 gets an orange mark. I should put hard to put their tag on it in the front. Oh, very nice. Look at you. <laughs> It's a girl. <laughs> 26. Yes. Is she mucky at the back end? Or? No, she's much quicker. Than me. She's got a fine back end. She's got a fine other. She needs a dose for us. Look that. I mean, she, she, I think she's okay, but. Happy? Yep. She is a boy. And what is it? 32, so not quite an orange mark. So. Well, should we say 30 is the mark or 32? I don't know. 30. Over 30 kilograms can go away. <laughs> yeah, you happy? <laughs> it takes a bit of getting used to this. <laughs> happy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay. I mean, I'll only keep. How much does it weigh? 30. That's 4 to 1, so far. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us at the end. <laughs> Go. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, she's nearly got another. She's dried up. Um, no, she's a hog then. Yes, she's she blue tag, yeah, yeah, so she's a hog. Fine back end. These are doors though. size of this guy. 36.5. I might reset this because if they're all between 31 and 40, 31 and 40 that's 8 yeah. mils. Oh I've not taken. Okay. Oh, I'm just... I know but it's not nice. No, you looked at Yeah she's got teeth. I think, I think. Oh. Left side is a wee bit suspect. Right yeah, right I say red head because um, no point taking chances. Mm -hmm. so. I, no, I, don't, I don't think I'm. <laughs> Good job, not a rough job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop. That's the only thing. Really. She's clean at the back end. Clean the tail. You're cheeky. <laughs> She's only got four teeth. Should I give her a red head? She's got long tags, purple and yellow. Yeah, she's going to wear this I was going to say, yeah, she's going to wear this year. Better keep back 300 lambs, I think, eh? <laughs> it's a yell. <laughs> Anyway, you're getting the idea of what we're doing here. We'll just uh, crack on a wee bit. Rosie's checking the teeth. I'm checking the udder, the tail, telling Rosie if they need a dose. And then any uh, lambs that are Suffolk, so we give them a tag. It's a boy. 
over 30. You see them? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> They're going away, we're just keeping the ones that are below 30 and they can go away next time. Anyway, we'll crack on a wee bit and get these all done. Next lot in, just kind of get into the flow of using the combi clamp. It's going quite well. <laughs> this little dispute is still going I on. I admit, I've been totally wrong, Rose. As long as you can admit it, Dad, I don't mind you being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bad foot. Wait, is this the one you've sprayed to? Purple ear and a purple foot. Anything else? No, I won't need oh, the clip. Just the same. Fine bag though, it's a big tag, don't anyway. That's slimy. Yeah, it's a boy. I'll give it a dose as well. Alright. It is 83 white face, 76 sapphic. Oh. Okay, but that's fine. And it those is the smallest 89 lot. to go away. Did you like the combi clamp though? I really like the combi clamp. It's really yeah. good, isn't Did it? Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was really good. I mean, I think it's the speed would maybe come with time and also like it would give us a good idea of the weight because like you know you start going through them and then you almost you can kind of guess guess them at the weight yeah, a bit better because i think next year what we could do is if we could borrow it again from ian we could set it up inside and then we could bring them over go through go through them and then um just tag the ones that are going away um, and not give them a non shot because i'm not a big fan of sending them away with any like sprays not. on them i feel like it yeah. looks I don't know, they, just look, they don't look very smart, I think, going yeah. through the ring when they're covered in spray. So, um, yeah, just tag the ones that are over, say. We'll, like, look at the look at the lambs, pick one that looks good, and then weigh it. Be like, okay, this one's, what, 35. Every la la lamb over 35 will put a tag in, and then just, like, next week, take them in again. So I don't know if it's maybe even worth buying our own combi clamp. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, no, big thanks to Ian for letting us borrow this. Yeah. Oh, we're underway. Sue so doesn't need to wait around for no one. Anyway, yes. So, very good device. Um, and we will see you tomorrow where we'll be using it again. But this time, in the rain. So, yeah. <laughs> Catch you then. Welcome back to day two. This is us getting the sheep in. It's not yet raining. So saying that, there's the rain. Literally, you can see the weather line almost. Probably be quite a bit less filming today. Um, I mean, it's much the same as it was yesterday. Um, you know, using the combi clamp, and I, I'm sure we showed you plenty of that yesterday. So maybe just film bits if there's anything exciting that happens. Right, that's us done. It was very, very wet. Um, what are our numbers, sorry? 73? 73 to go. 73 to go. So 48. Yeah, lambs. Yeah, yeah. 185 in total. 185 in total. So that's kind of, I guess, I guess the Well, you were pretty accurate, you said. I was, I was very accurate. But uh, yeah, we'll see when we kind of shed them off how we get on. And yeah, generally not too bad. Just very wet and miserable. So I didn't, yeah. didn't film any of it, but it was just much the same as yesterday. So yeah, good work team. Good stuff. Cool. We're now just gonna push them back into there just so they can have 48 hours because we've just given them um, warming stuff so they can poo and do all that business over there and we'll put them onto the new grass once they're clean. Which is lovely and green. Lovely and green because we've just had the hay cut and the bales are off so that's good. Hey, hey, here we are. We have the, uh, the lambs in and the owls. This is our singles, we're gonna take off a few more lambs from these lot. Yeah, it will be the last time drafting them for like 
a month. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna shed the lambs now. Oh, Rosie's. These are the lambs that we're putting away from the, the singles. There's two rigs in there, and there's a lot of yow lambs, but we're gonna put about 40 away. Yeah, we wouldn't usually put yow lambs away. We would keep all the clean ones, but we just have too many yow lambs here. Which is what about this one's nose, Rosie? Are you worried about that one? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just going to run them through the crush here and give them a wee click to count them. So, in this lot here, there are 40 Yao lambs and 11 kind of rigs. There's two rigs and then the rest are slaughter tags or suffix. So yeah, 51 in total there from the singles. And we're just about to go and get the triplets up. And we're going to need to take roughly about 150 lambs off the triplets so that's what we're about to, about to do now a big wet one this is us with the <laughs> we've got the triplets in here we haven't taken any lambs off these lot yet have we no the the sky so hopefully there should be some big ones in here um but as you would have seen earlier in the video we went through these lot and marked them with an orange spray depending on their weight yeah so everything with an orange shot is over 30 kilograms so we'll just Draft those ones off and then the wee ones can just stay in and they can have another fortnight on the grass with their mums and then they can go away next time because I'm pretty sure in the next sale I kind of, well I'll have another sale of about 150 where I'm getting rid of big ones and then after that I'll have one where I just kind of get rid of everything unless it's crippled. Oh really, so, really tiny. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm happy keeping a few really tiny ones with the hogs of the winter. Um, I, I just feel like it just it doesn't look great putting away really wee little bad looking ones and it really doesn't cost me a lot extra to keep them over the winter because um, they just go in with the hogs and they're just on the grass I mean they they get hay um, and a wee feed in the new in the new year but um, the hogs are mainly grass fed here so it's not too much extra cost so no we're just going to shed these ones off now uh, but you've already seen that it last video or whatever, so yeah. We'll cut to when we've got the land sorted. So we have 70, is it 79 lands in here? 79, 79 lands in here. Between the two lots, it make 130. So we're gonna go through this lot again. Let's maybe take off another 20. So we're hitting about 150, roughly. There's always one, hey? We changed the plan there. We're gonna take, these are twins, aren't they? So we're gonna so take- These are the hill twins. We spent the summer up there. So we, we took the best, we've taken the best ones off them already. Um, but some of them have picked off a wee bit. So, so we're just gonna get 20, 20, 30, however many are ready to go off them and put them, and put them away. And it just kind of takes the pressure off the birds. So we're not doing, we left the other ones. The rest of the triplets put them back and we just brought in the, brought in the twins instead. 39 in there to add to our 130. So 100, 169 altogether. Right, so these are all our lambs. Going away tomorrow, we're going to just separate them into Suffolk, Yao lambs. Uh, you know, etc. So they're in little categories, I think, so it makes it easier when we're loading them. And also, so the mark know which ones we want in different groups. We're all set up here for the float arriving, which will be in about 20 minutes or so. So we've got the Suffolk, Yale Lambs, and then White Faces over there. Count them out the shed. 
and that's them away. We will see them at the mart tomorrow. Back here again. These are all our lambs. All the way along here. And then these are the last of them, just these last two pens here. These are our Yao lambs. Looking good. And these are our Suffolks as well. This big pen here and this wee one just here. Look at the size of their neighbours. These are some big Suffolks but they're quite mucky the last pen. So I wonder I wonder how they'll do in like comparison. Oh, yeah. 
So there's a bit more footage for you than the last video, the last lambing video, we, uh, the last lamb selling video that we posted. But anyway, so yeah, good prices again. Um, we put away those yellow lambs just to kind of see how they'd get on. Yeah. Um, they did very well. We usually would have just kept back all, all of our yellow lambs, but for some reason we have more yellow lambs than usual. Um, I guess we, we just, we had a good scanning, so um, just plenty of lambs, which were... We're happy about so yeah we, could. we put put them away and it was actually the same boy who in the first the first group um there was two guys bidding that's why it went up to 114 and the second group it was just the one boy that just took him for 92. oh uh, it's a bit annoying because they looked they were fairly similar yeah yeah like, yeah, they yeah, all yeah looked like when we put them in they all looked very uniform but yeah maybe they were slightly smaller and maybe the, around like 30 kilogram and yeah. the other ones were probably about around 35. yeah yeah maybe that was so, it. yeah it was just a very slight difference you know yeah because um, in the pens at the back, you would have seen that they were actually in two groups of 20, I think, you know, like where, where, as we put them away. But anyway, that's us. Another successful lamb selling. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, um, you know, seeing the use of the combi clamp as well. It's something that we quite enjoyed was using it, wasn't it? Yeah, we'd love to get our own one. I'll but... borrow it again from, <laughs> from my neighbours. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think next year we're going to definitely like draft them out in like according to weight. Yeah, um, yeah. and use the clamp every time I think yeah just because it feels like we're doing the right thing we're dosing them depending on their weight and you know rather than just guessing how yeah. heavy they are and dosing them so yeah so it's good um but yeah so hopefully you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video which might be another lambskin video we'll see you see you for that one cheers bye bye, -bye. what are you doing Big wet one.